Hey Caster Derek here, Big Six Clan. Today we're going to be taking the schematic that I showed you last time in the video and we're going to start wiring up the protoboard to start doing some testing. Let's get started. Okay, so now we're going to start really wiring this prototype up and you're going to be seeing a shot from overhead most of the time as I'm wiring this up. Um, and then I'll stop here and there and just kind of explain a little bit what's going on. Um, but I've really got to kind of really follow this roadmap and that's what this is. This is a roadmap how this is going to be wired. Uh, really thank you to Dave Wagner, DJW House for doing the schematic. And I know some of you have asked, hey, can you share that schematic? And I will probably share the schematic, but after the project is done, because there may be some other changes that we have to do in it when we're doing some testing. So, but now let's go ahead and get going. Uh, there are some parts I'm gonna have to do some soldering. So, but like I said, you're gonna see a lot of stuff from overhead on this one as I'm wiring. And then I'll stop now and then and come back and tell you and kind of point out what's going on. So now let's get wiring. Okay, so now I've gotten a little bit of the wiring done. I've got my proto board kind of set up with the negative and positive different places that it's gonna to go to, as you can see here, on here. Now, one of the things I did not go into before is that this is gonna have two types of power to it. It's gonna have an internal power, which the cache owner will have to change out, but then it's gonna have external power, so the finder's gonna to have to bring some batteries. And so right now, I've got the external powered up to the proto board right here so it's coming into the proto board here as you can see and then this piece right here is actually a step up and so I've run the power into the step up and then the step up is what's going to actually goes into the nano up here into the uh, plus five volt and then the ground of course goes into the ground and then over here I have the mp3 player and so here's the mp3 player and of course it's part of that of the step up comes into the into the voltage here of the plus five the volt and then also the ground goes into the ground of the nano as well and that's what i have up here in this top line here and then then the different other pins over here are plugged into d2 and d3 in the nano itself. So that's kind of what I've got set up right now. Um, I'm gonna continue wiring it up. And as you see, I have the grounds and negatives all bounced up, so I'm using this entire board. And I may end up having to add another uh, proto board into this, depending on how much more I have going. I still have quite a bit on the schematic to put together. So let's continue wiring. All right, so now I have everything wired up except for the relay, the latch, and the internal batteries. Now, there is a correction that I talked about earlier of how I'm actually wiring the power. Um, after talking to Dave Wagner, DJ Dub House, he pointed out a mistake that I made, and so let me go over that real quick. So, I had to change how I was coming into the DC-DC, or the 5-volt step-up voltage component. So the external power comes into there versus coming into the rails on the, on the probe board itself. The five volt then goes into the rail and then it feeds the five volt everywhere across the proto board. So I had to make that correction. And then the other thing I forgot to add into is that I needed this capacitor in here between the, the five volt and the negative rail as well. So that's, that was what I had to go back and fix. This is why, I, like I said, I'm gonna be learning as much as you are through this process as well. So just make sure that that's kind of set up there. So reading the schematic and went back and forth and had a couple questions and got with Dave and got that clarification. Now I've gone in now also and added the piezo and this has a, and this has a 100 ohm resistor in there as well. And then I've also gone ahead and put in my USB connection, which is gonna be for the speaker itself. So now this aspect is ready to go with the speaker for the USB and also with the, the connection to go into there as well. And we may or may not need it, but we also put a capacitor in there as well. So just kind of hopefully it may need it to, to do the, make the speaker sound a little bit better. So now let's go ahead and get back into wiring some more and we'll go ahead and wire in for the 
the relay, and the latch itself, and the external battery. So let's get those wired up. All right, so now I've got it all pretty much wired up. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you now that we're not gonna be running the program through it this time because we're waiting on a couple of other aspects of the program from the audio files that we need to put in here. So, but I wanted to really get into the wiring of this. So I hope, hope this has helped out. So let's go ahead and get into it. So now I have my relay plugged into it. And as you can, the relay is connected to up here where it comes in, comes in from the um, positive and negative, and then it's also fed back into the nano. So it gives it the signal itself from the nano all the way to the relay. And then it comes out of the common, comes into a negative. Now I'm using this side of the board here just for the external battery and the latch itself. So that's, there's nothing else running into this section of the board here. So then it, co so it comes off the common once again into the negative and then the always, uh, the NO or always uh, never open uh, comes in to one of the lines here into the board itself. Then one of the connections, the negative um, of the latch comes out from there and into the latch. But there's also, as you see here, is a diode. That This is a diode right here. Now, if you remember when we talked about diodes before, a diode is like a one-way door. So energy will flow one direction, but it won't allow it to go the opposite direction. Whereas a resistor will let you go either way. So that's kind of the difference between a diode and a resistor. And this is a pretty large diode that I have here because of the amount of energy that's gonna be coming through the other side, all right? So then that, so that gets to that point. Now, let's go the opposite direction. So I have my external battery pack here, and it's gonna take six AA batteries. And what I need to do is run it in through it, but I also have to step it down. I need the energy to fire off the resistor, but I don't need that energy going back to the nano itself. So what I need to do is kind of step it down. So the positive comes in and it is coming into this resistor here. So it goes from one resistor into another resistor. I have two resistors in, C in series. And then that's enough for it to be able to go into the nano itself up here. Then another resistor brings it back into the negative, so it just kind of completes it. All right. Then over come, come along here where the the power is, then it also bounces off from the that that rail here, the positive rail into the latch, and then there's also that diode in there. And that's just kind of a basic wiring. Now we're going to be doing some tests over this, and I'll verify that all this is correct. And of course, if it's not, I'll be hearing from Dave uh, later this week when this video comes out about, hey, you know, you, that, that wasn't quite right when we go back and look at it again. So that's part of the testing of this. And I have my speaker now, once again, hooked up into it. And that comes over here into the USB. And there's a resistor, uh, sorry, a, a capacitor there. And then I also have it plugged in here. So just a lot of different wiring. I know it looks like a lot of spaghetti right now, but when we put it into the cache, it's gonna get all nice and cleaned up. And this is just part of the testing of everything. And I really cannot wait to get this in there and get this to looking really good and working with really well. So once again, this is a collaboration with Dave, uh, DJW House and myself, and it's gonna be going to New Zealand to uh, GeoRick uh, Travels down in New Zealand. So this is just a really fun aspect of this build. I love doing these collabs. Now, also in the description, I want to let you all know that all these components that I've been using today in this build, I have links down there in, in the description and those are affiliate links. So anything that you click on does help the channel and I really do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below. And let me know what you're thinking of this, of this build and what if, if I had any mistakes that you caught, uh, go ahead and let me know about those as well. But thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And you know what? That next video could be just right over here. So go check out that video right over here and find the story behind the cache.